Hello, my name is Farid and I am a Shopify app developer. Uh, in this video, I want to share my experience uh, on improving uh, LCP. Uh, LCP is very important uh, for applying for build for Shopify badge uh, and uh, it's uh, one of the criteria that you, ha you should have uh, LCP lower than 2.5 and I'm going to share my experience, uh, how I struggled with this and how I was able to finally improve my LCP score. So sometimes uh, I'm sharing that it's uh, mostly about uh, structure of the page, but it's really uh, difficult to explain in social media by text or by tweets. Uh, so that's, uh, I decided to make this video to explain it uh, by showing it actually from my example app. So it's one of my apps which has built for Shopify badge and you can see I uh, here uh, here I have a really nice LCP score and uh, I also have another uh, four apps with built for Shopify badge and uh, one more is in review process. Hopefully that one is also is coming. So let me dive into, uh, I will show you this app and uh, show you it on local and on production, how, how it actually uh, LCP works. So first of all, this is my home screen. So this is first page that visitors are visiting. Uh, that's very important that you always improve your LCP for all states of your app. So this is, of course, not my onboarding state because user already created some jobs here and they already performed some, some actions. So this screen looks different from users which are coming first time and users which already performed actions. So this is very critical that you improve your LCP. Uh, for all situations, for all states of your app, with someone who has data, who does not have data, first time coming, or has different type of screen. So that's uh, that's very important that to pay attention. I see many people are missing this point. And uh, next, it's very important to measure LCP because if you cannot measure something, you cannot improve it. Uh, and this is something I always have in my console also in production apps i'm just leaving it there it's like not a not a big deal that uh, people see this uh, so and uh, that's very important that it also shows you which element is actually being detected as a largest content piece so in this example at the moment on whole this page this is not these images uh, and not this text here, but this is the text which is uh, has been detected as a uh, largest element on the page, largest content piece. Uh, and uh, let me show you first of all how I am adding this part. So let's make debugging possible first. Uh, so this is my code base. So here's the starting point of my app where I'm using React, by the way, this is uh, yeah, on the interface. And this is point where I'm creating my app. And this is point where I'm importing Web Vitals library. And this is uh, how I'm actually, uh, like the piece of code that I'm adding to make that uh, console log possible. I It's also have example for INP score. I struggled with this one also for a bit. That's maybe another video topic. So. Feel free to subscribe to this uh, channel. Maybe I will make a video about this as well. But uh, yeah, let's go back to LCP. This is uh, this part. Uh, hopefully, I will remember to add also to description as well of video, so you can just copy paste. Uh, and uh, let me show you now. Yeah, this is important in the beginning of your app, so we can measure the app uh, LCP. Okay. Now, as we have it here. Uh, let's go uh, back and uh, change some things uh, on the page to understand how LCP will change. So I have here another file, which uh, I will just change the text uh, uh, here and make it longer text and just to show you example. Okay, it's here. I will just paste it, this meaningless text, and I will go to another page. 
and here let's close this also just to make it more clear and I will visit app page again so this time you see like two logs actually popped up here so one 0 0.8 and one 1.4 so 1.4 is you can you can see this is actually going to be the uh, latest LCP always is considered the LCP so that's the latest one so you can see a big increase here just because I made this text longer so that's that's mind-blowing when I first discovered this like this was the aha moment uh, to understanding this so this is like uh, LCP is of course about making page fast like uh, you would consider this page very fast, but it also making a page feel fast. So that's that's very important detail because pay attention. Like I will just uh, the open page again. You see, like there's like small loading and then page opens. So because this content is coming from the database, so that's important. Like this part of content is coming from the database. I'm calculating like how many jobs this uh, person executed. I'm calculating uh, save time. I'm listing here jobs. So all this is database queries. And of course, takes longer than displaying this static uh, content on the page. This is for everyone. This is same and just being shown first and this is just explains what your app does which is like people has million apps not million of course like uh, uh, so they have a lot of apps let's say and uh, whenever they open app they sometimes just can be lost like what this app is doing so you're just adding a small description of your app like what it does and it's uh, very helpful so it's not also bothering anyone and helps you with lcp so basically it's uh, like subtitle field of the page you you have it natively so you just can add it there <coughs> and then you have this content i also have this content which is again static but i am don't want to put it on the top of the page it's just helper content which is just promoting my other apps and i don't want to put it uh, on higher positions i just want it to show on the bottom and uh, but because it's coming after database loaded content i also not showing it before this content that's also about uh, page layout shift so you don't want layout shift to happen so you are not putting this static content which is not coming from database on the top and then if uh, this content loads it will jumping so i don't want that either so i'm just loading everything at once so while this like again let's just see quickly how this is coming so it's loading and everything comes together and because this text is long this is going to be detected this time as a lcp so that's what i'm paying mostly attention so let's dive into it one more time so you see it's again two times first actually this one was loaded in 0 0.68 uh, and uh, here largest element is this and then second element 1.18 which is almost double uh, it we didn't even actually feel that but it's like small difference but it makes a big difference in lcp like uh, imagine for all of your users if that's happening again again it affects your uh, uh, averages in uh, in this graphics a lot so that's uh, that's Anyways, it's like very small difference between 2.5 and 1.23. And uh, really every, every millisecond is very important uh, in this context. So now uh, let's go back and again, let's just make text smaller and try again. This time you see it's just one point. Yes should actually lower but it's local so on local sometimes uh, you know it's not always perfect performance on local on production it's a little bit better so you can see yeah it's on average it's always uh, lower than other versions so again here we are checking what's detected as largest content piece and this is this part okay so now 
I can also show it very quickly on production app as well. So you can see 0 0.7. This is production version of the app. And here, yeah, not a big difference. Again, same structure, just same logic. Uh, this part also can be hidden as well. So you can see it's uh, how it works. And now I want to, <coughs> as I explained this part, like I think this is, this can make a big difference if you try this. But again, don't forget to test it in all uh, all uh, states of your app. Like first time onboarding, uh, users with data, users without data, and that's. Uh, that I think uh, can improve your LCP. Also like about other points, I also want to share like I took some notes that I, I'm not using any CDN. So that's, uh, I see sometimes people have uh, over complicating this, but uh, like using CDN can help of course, but I just have one like single server application uh, running with PHP, React, and uh, this is just uh, in New York, one uh, server, uh, static server, which is serving it. And uh, I have also people coming with from countries with slow internet. I see that also as uh, people mentioning a lot, like people coming to my app from lower countries. I want to restrict that countries, like people say things like this. I, I think I have like large var variety of apps, like different apps uh, where people are coming from different countries, but uh, just by optimizing this, like it's already solving this issue. And I'm just uh, actually uh, making uh, enabling static file cache on Nginx. So my JavaScript uh, and image files are uh, just cached on the browser. So whenever my main JavaScript file, React file, uh, which is being bundled by default, uh, with, I'm using Vite for that purpose, and it's just one uh, file which is being served as a JavaScript file. Maybe I can even find that, uh, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, that's one of the files is just being uh, loaded there, and uh, it's just one index uh, type of file which is uh, loaded, and that's being yeah, uh, I am enabling that static file cache on browser. Uh, that can help, uh, yes. But every time you are making deployment, that file name is changing. So it's this if you are deploying very often, anyways, it's like not going to help too much. Uh, that's that's also important uh, detail. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that that's mainly that. That's also one of the things that you need to pay attention is this seventy uh, fifth percentile. So like, uh, it's not taking exact average of all traffic. So that's why like uh, sometimes people may be visiting you from very slow internet countries. That's not if that's not your main average like uh, the way that this calculation is works like uh, it should not affect your uh, average too much like if someone loads your website with seven seconds that's not going to be taken to average because they that's then top it's not 75th percentile but uh, it's going to be on top version so this will be eliminated like most important what's like your not uh, your average if your average is good uh, that's uh, that's okay <laughs> i i'm sure i'm butchered this but maybe uh, you can just check this uh, more on the internet what does it mean and uh, i hope uh, you can get the idea what i'm trying to explain yeah that that's my needs uh, so hope that helps uh, with lcp and uh, hope you get this uh, build for Shopify badge. Uh, uh, good luck. Thank you for watching.